I run a six-figure cleaning business from a storage unit with six full-time employees, and this is how I do it. I started my cleaning business three years ago with nothing but my laptop and a burning desire to own a business. I made some t-shirts, got some business cards, some cleaning products, and went on to knock on some doors. What I love about the cleaning business is how easy it is to get started and how simple it is to operate. You don't need much to start and run a successful and profitable cleaning business. What's going on guys? So we're at the storage right now. I wanna show you guys how we operate and organize the things in here. Here is where we keep all the products that we use in the cleaning business. So we have our Mr. Clean, we have our Windex, we have Simple Green, which is a degreaser. Uh, we have Murphy Oil, Cleaner Plus Bleach and then we have our pine saw. Right under here is where we keep bottles of our cleaning products. Uh, it's kind of empty, so I need to fill up some of these bottles as you can see right here on the back. Typically, we'll keep these gallons here all full, but the refill day that I have when I come here during the week to refill everything and make sure everything's stocked up is tomorrow. Across from the gallons is where we keep our microfiber towels. This is where the crews will come, pick up what they need, put it inside of their bags, inside of their boxes, and then put it inside of their cars. On this end right here, we have all of the products that we use to restock. So we have Easy Off, Pine Sol, Windex, which is not really Windex, it's called Zep, but this is what we use. We have Mr. Clean down here, and then we have one of the Clorox cleaner that we actually need to be buying more for that because it's pretty empty over there. So what happens is that the team comes here and they just take everything they need. Any empty bottles, they'll leave right on the table as you can see right here behind me. And then here, they'll put all the dirty microfiber towels and we've labeled them here in Portuguese for the blue ones, the white ones, and then the mop heads. For the dirty ones, I'll come take everything that's in here, put it in a bin and then put the bin inside the car, take it to the laundry. And then here we just have some miscellaneous things like tools, vacuum parts, We'll put that in this cabinet here. And what's cool about this space is that you don't need much to run everything from here. Everything has its space. I forget what the size of this is, but I think it's 10 by 15. I might be wrong on that, but I think it's 10 by 15. Uh, light shut off on us, so I had to go get it turned back on. Yeah, so I think this space is about 10 by 15, and you don't need that much space to run everything from here. We have enough space to put all the shelves, to put the table, to put a whole cabinet, and also these gallon liquid dispensers that we have here. For a storage this size, we pay $300 per month. We chose this specific unit because it is temperature controlled. So in the winter, they keep the units at about 50 to 60 degrees, and in the summer, about 60 to 70 degrees. And this is really important because we don't want any liquids freezing or overheating. Now, what about our company vehicles? What do we do about the company cars? For those, we rent parking spaces in the parking lot you see behind me. And it's right down the street from our storage unit that I just showed you guys, which makes it easy for us to restock. So the team, all they need to do is just drive down the street, go to the storage and restock and take everything they need. So we have a storage, we have a place to put our cars, and now how do we operate the actual business itself? All of that is done on a phone. So most of the day-to-day -day operations that goes into this cleaning business is run off of this cell phone right here. And I have my email, I have all my applications, I have the schedules for the teams, I text all the clients from here. This is my business phone. It's not my personal phone. It's not what I use for my personal things. This is just for business purposes only. That way I keep everything that is personal on my personal phone and everything that is business on my business phone. In our business, we used to have a landline and then we got rid of the landline and we just directed that number to this number. So we have two different numbers that are going to this specific phone, meaning I can run my business from literally anywhere. I could be at a coffee shop, I can be out doing errands that I need to do for the company. Maybe I'm out there giving quotes and someone calls me, I can do everything that I need to do on my phone which makes it very easy for me to be mobile and not be tied down to one specific location in the operation of my business. Now in our business, we try to make it as easy as possible for customers to do business with us. 
So if you like to email, then we can answer your emails. If you like to text, then we can answer your text. And if you want to reach us by giving us a call, then you can do that as well. I can do that all right here on my phone. And we make it even more easier for clients when it comes to payments. Because of the different softwares that we use, we allow clients to pay us by credit card online in a very, very easy way. And by allowing them to pay us in credit card online, it makes my life easier because everything I need to manage, I can do it right off my phone. Now, some of you may know from past videos that I did have an office. So you're probably asking, what happened? You had an office, now you don't, and you're running the business from a storage unit. The office was costing us way too much money per month and expenses that we didn't see bring any ROI for us. That's return on investment. In other words, we really didn't need that office. We didn't need the space that we had rented. And we realized that that office really wasn't bringing any more jobs to us than it would, than we would be getting if we didn't have the office. So we said, you know what? Let's cut this expense. We don't need this. Let's run everything from a storage. If we need to talk to employees, we talk to them at the storage. Or we meet them in the parking lot where they have their cars. And all the work that I was doing in the office, I can do here at home on my laptop while saving a bunch of money. So that's how I'm running my cleaning business completely from a storage unit. And honestly, switching from an office to the storage unit and running everything from there was probably the best decision we've ever made. And if you guys want to see more content like this, like this video, leave a comment down below of what details you want to see, things that I didn't talk about in this video that you'd be interested in me covering and maybe in another video, leave that in the comment section below. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe to the channel.